Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Soul Blazer. So let's poke around the town and find out what new things have opened up. The Dream Rod possesses the ability to <clears throat> let you look into the dreams. So if we find someone who's sleeping, we can talk to them. So yeah, he's going to tell us about the little strafing or crab walking or whatever it is that allows you to do this instead of turning to move. It actually is kind of useful. When we get there, I will show you how it allows you to use swords that are above your level ranking. All swords have an innate level ranking that you must be at least that level or higher to actually swing, but doing that allows you to uh, use a sword that's higher level than you, just holding it out. So a quick heal. Let's go talk to the kid. Goat food, huh? One billion plus tax? No. I hope it comes out of your allowance. Kid's name Teddy, I swear. That was the name of the kid in Act Razor, right? Teddy? The really annoying brat? Well, he wasn't all that annoying. He was just full of energy and curious, and his parents decided to bother a god about it. So anyway, nothing new in here, is there? Nope, still just the guy who can't figure out how to turn a wheel. What about you? Gaudy. Not a bad name for an architect in some places. Okay. Start to the flower. I don't know if anyone placed it. Yeah, maybe. Strange face has appeared in your painting. Okay. No need to scream about it, though. Let's go chicken and our goats. Ooh, so that's where the chief went, huh? Wonder how we get him out. Sure. Oh, that that seems easy enough. We just have to find something that belonged to Dr. Leo, huh? Well, I wonder how long that'll take. Anything else around here that seems... Nope, that's just the cave that we've got some free experience from. My next is a 580, so I need 220 more experience, huh? Sleeping, huh? I'm afraid I can't allow you to sleep. Or at least I can, I just need to bother you first. It's okay, I'm with God. Missing your daddy, huh? She can't see me. I'm behind a pillar. Okay.
Yeah, this... I'll just be leaving now. No, you had every right to yell at me. I mean, I did walk in here and bother you while you were asleep. Which is more than a little creepy, really. Well, it's the least I can do for being a creeper. It kind of was me. See, I have this rod over here that... I'm not going to go any further with that, because that's even worse. You hit it somewhere. Okay. And what you want to bet we've got to go to that spot in the underground we opened up. That seems like the best place to hide a brush, don't you? Doesn't it? Seems like the smartest place to hide something of great personal value. So anyway, all the work we've done in here has basically cleared a path to get right to where we need to go, like, almost right next to the entrance. Don't really want to turn down the free experience there. So we need so much of it, and I really want to hit level 5. But yeah, this path is now open. There should be... Who does that free? Who or what? An old man! Who has his own house. Looks like he's missing something though. Yeah, oh well. Also a treasure chest. Nifty! Now we just have to get out of here because we have essentially completely finished out this area. Remember this little wall that was blocked off here when we did that little dance right there? Yeah! There's the other one. Now that we have Leo's brush, we need to go talk to Lisa again. But we might as well talk to an old man here. Really? Huh? Well, okay. I guess a goat can be substitute companionship. I am not judging. A newt. Huh. Turbo blue gnome. Mary. The doll was a friend? That's... odd. I guess so. But I guess first we get to go search for the village chief, huh? us at full hit points. I need to go the other way. Seems like a good a time as any to explore a painting and run into enemies that we cannot be yet. Okay, so...
Yoink. Let's get the herb back up. These are not brilliant enemies. That was easy enough. Get rid of that. And what do we open up? The old man's goat. No, just a tulip. Okay. Hmm, need to be careful here. Ah. So here we are, two conveyors there, and a bridge to nowhere here. E spears. forward. So everybody has the gist of this game, right? We beat up monster spawns to unlock new areas, unlock new people, unlock everything. Oh, you're timed. And a lonely goat. Your friend's open. Your friend's back. I mean, does that make you happy, goat? So what do we free this time? More ivy, okay. And another pillar to fill that up. This looks dangerous. A free medical herb that will refill our hit points since we already have one. Yeah, that's annoying. You know, I probably should use some magic. Thank you. 
that thing we cannot beat. It's not going to do anything to us, but we do not have a weapon or magic capable of actually putting any hurt on that. So we are, I would say, ignore it, but the problem is we can't just ignore it because I ran smack into it. But also, eventually we will be able to come back to this spot, and when we kill it, we will open up that monster lair, or we will seal it one way or another. And here's hoping I don't die horribly. Luckily these guys... They could level up. Because we needed to level up here. I need to level up one more time. Oh look, another goat. I guess this was dude's goat, and not the lonely one up there. Oh well, we'll have to figure out what's going on there pretty soon. Let's be careful of the roaming octopus thing there. If there is that... not let herself get clipped by the obviously easy to dodge enemies. Another flower. Video's gone on just a little bit longer than I had planned on. E. So I am looking for a decent spot to break here. That was not a good showing for me. boy. Living all by himself in the shack, huh? That's kind of sad if you think about it. So I believe... Yeah, I do need to go that way. I'm just wanting to make sure of this. Everything here should be cleared up now. that. Another boy. Interesting. And then see if there's any way to deal with these that don't result in huge amounts of pain. Excellent. At 666 experience. So let's save, and I will call this a decent breaking point. I need 1,000. Because I actually need to do a little bit of grinding. Just a touch. I want to get to level 5. Why? Well, that'll make all the difference in the world, really. Believe me. So anyway, I'm going to go and grind on the infinitely respawning enemies. 
and when I get to level 5, we will be back here and ready to continue on in the area we've been clearing out. Or maybe we'll go talk to people in town. One of the two. So anyway, take care folks. See you later.